Hey, good morning, everybody. It's a brand new day. We've got two days left in Memphis. We're gonna try to pack it all in to most of it in one day because I'm gonna be meeting a friend from Alabama who's driving up here. So probably tomorrow we'll be really busy with that and catching up. Anyway, we're going to Graceland. It's about 9 a.m. And uh, we're gonna go take a tour of Elvis's mansion, the famous Graceland. I'm not a big Elvis fan, never was, but I'm very interested in history and just seeing how the man lived, I'm sure it's going to be interesting. And then from there, we're going to take a drive to Mississippi, where he was born, and see his birthplace. So come along with us. Okay, we're here at Graceland, finally. And the parking lot's pretty big, and there's a lot of parking here. Uh, to park here, it costs ten dollars, but it's not in the greatest part of Memphis, so it's good to have security and a private lot. So let's go walk up to it and see what it's about. We pre-purchased our tickets online, but they do give discounts for military, law enforcement, or firefighters, so that's a good thing. We're a little bit early because they do tours at different hours. So we're gonna shop around and just look at their gift shop. It's pretty big. Here's some TCB stuff, which stands for Taking Care of Business. That's Elvis's band. There's lots of shirts to choose from if you're looking for a shirt for somebody or yourself. There's lots of magnets. There's one from his performance in Hawaii. Some jailhouse rock magnets and tons to choose from. I think we're going to pick some up for gifts and for ourselves. So our tour is coming up and I'm just going to let you know that there is no video allowed, so they're all going to be pictures of Graceland.
finished Graceland and I hope you liked it too. And we're here at Hattie Bee's to try out more Nashville hot chicken. Just like Prince's, I got mild wings and it came out crispy and hot with a piece of bread on the bottom. Got the same beans and coleslaw just to compare the two. And the chicken looks fabulous. I must say the chicken is wonderful and it's still spicy even though it's mild. The beans are on point. They're tender and sweet with that nice barbecue bean flavor. And the coleslaw was fresh, creamy, and not as tangy as Prince's, but I like it that way. And I'm gonna have to say the winner is Hattie B's, hands down. After that amazing lunch, we're gonna head into Mississippi. You heard it right, we're going to drive all the way to Tupelo, Mississippi, which is only an hour and a half drive from Memphis, and it is the birthplace of Elvis Presley. And we're gonna go to his birthplace museum. So this is the town of Tupelo. It's very tiny and quaint. We're gonna check it out and see some other sites here as well. So when you turn into the road for Elvis Presley's birthplace, the first house he was raised in, it's a tiny little, just regular neighborhood. And here you see it, Elvis Presley's birthplace. And that's his tiny house where he lived. Let's go check it out. So this is it. You can go in there, the Welcome Center, and get your tickets. And that's the little house. So we finished doing the tour of the museum. Unfortunately, it says no photography or video. This is the nice grounds outside. There's the church he grew up in. We don't have much time because it was a long drive here, so we didn't take the tour of the church. You can separate different things. You can just visit the house and pay for a ticket there. If you just want to do the museum, you can. So we paid for the house and the museum. The museum was very interesting. Lots of different items from his life are in there and pieces of clothing and comic books even that he used to read when he was younger. And this is the birthplace of Elvis Presley. He was born in this house in 1935, and it was built by his father. I remember reading a story saying they bought the lumber and everything, and his father and I believe his uncle helped to build, build this house. And for people that were not carpenters, a lot of people say they did a pretty good job. This is the original house, still standing. Tupelo had electricity then, but they were too poor to afford it, so they still lived by kerosene and candlelight. And I believe when he got famous, the house was still luckily standing. He bought this parcel of property from Tupelo to make it into a park and museum. Let's go inside. Um, when he was born, um, he actually, there was nowhere that he didn't have his own ring, obviously. So he slept in the dresser drawer until, yeah, until he got, um, old enough. And so it was shortly thereafter when Elvis was born, uh, Vernon went to prison for check forgery. And, um, so he, uh, started sleeping in the bed with Miss Gladys. And, you know, that's why I, I believe that he was so close to her because it was just them two for a mm -hmm. long time. And so, and then she um, got on welfare when he was in prison, and that would have been 1937. And they ended up getting this house repossessed, um, um, and then they lost the car too. And let's see, 1939 was when he would have got out. They lost the house and the car, and they moved around wow. like eight different places. But wow. as you can see, there, this is um, the, the original things in here would be the fireplace right here. This is original. There would have been newspaper up on the wall. Oh. So, um, mostly these are time pieces, though. But Vernon did come down here and do do a check and make sure. I mean, he said it was to the time when he lived here that it looked like it. Mm -hmm. And then there's some, um, the, let's see, this is original right here in the um, fireplace. And then, you know what that is? I'm going to, I think, 
an old ice box? Yes. Like I, they I, would put ice in it, though? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. So, I just, um, I'm guessing because of the milk jugs. If yeah. they weren't in there, I wouldn't yeah. have known. Well, I, I would say it's like a cabinet or something. Yeah, and I, and I didn't know this either, that you know how the milk guy delivers the milk? They uh-huh. would deliver blocks of ice, too. Oh, okay. And, um, and that's how they kept things cold. But I did not know that, so that was a good guess. But that's original. Oh, wow. Yeah, and, um, and then this... Of course, the coal burning home mm-hmm. stove, and then the chimney is original. Wow. And yeah, um, and he would have took a bath in the tin tub over here. Wow! <laughs> they didn't have a ba- they didn't have a bathroom. <laughs> so is uh yeah. Huh? They had to go out to the outhouse. Outhouse. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if you did you well, walk over there by the church. There's a little outhouse over there by by that white church. It's right next to it. You can check out what it looked like. That's a far walk to pee. <laughs> yeah. I, well, no, they would have had one back. Here. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, see. I don't know why they didn't put one back here, but yeah. That's a good question, though. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the Plymouth. Yes, it is a Plymouth. That Elvis and his parents used to get around during this time. It's not the original, I heard, but it is pretty much a replica of the same model that they used and color. Well, that was a nice um, tour of Elvis's birthplace home. The people here in the South are very, very nice. Uh, she made great conversation. I didn't film all of it, but we did talk for a while. And she had a lot of great information. Don't forget, though, back there's the parking lot. Follow this trail up. It's quite a long walk, though. But it's not too bad. It's a nice stroll. You go up here to check out the Elvis statue. All right, so we made it up here. It's the statue of Elvis with him as a little boy and him as a star. So up here has a little bit of a history of how it started at 11. His mother, Gladys, took him to the Tupelo hardware store to buy him an 11th birthday present. He wanted a rifle or a bicycle, and she was very overprotective of him and thought it was dangerous. So she pr- finally persuaded him to choose a guitar instead, and that was his gift. It cost $7.75, and that's what started his music he also went to church and sang a lot of gospel songs, which tells you why he loved gospel music so much. He also liked country western and other things he heard on the radio, blues. And that's what influenced his music. Speaking of that, that original Tupelo hardware store is still here in downtown Tupelo, so let's go take a spin down there. All right, so this is the actual grave. I don't know if you can't see because of my shadow, it's sunny. Jesse Garen Presley died at birth January 8th, 1935. People leave some toys and gifts. So the marker at Graceland is just a marker. It's not his real grave. This is his grave. And next to him is Noah E. Presley. I believe the Presleys were um, pretty kind of famous here in Tupelo way back in the day. I believe some of the ancestors and relatives were like the mayor of Tupelo at one point and other distinguished figures in the community. But if you're interested in coming here to visit Jesse, I'm going to turn around. You're going to enter there from the entrance, from the street, and there's going to be one um, little slot where you can park on the side of the road. You come up the hill and go straight towards 
uh, the back here from where you parked, and it'll be right here. All right, let's go check out the main street of Tupelo and check out the hardware store, see what that's about. Here we are at Tupelo Hardware. This is where Elvis's mom took him for his birthday. He wanted a rifle, but instead she convinced him to get a guitar. Here we are on Main Street in T Tupelo. Very nice, actually. It's got a bunch of restaurants. The train is coming. The train's right there at that intersection. It goes all the way down there. Pretty nice. So here it is, the Tupelo Hardware Company. This is where Elvis bought his first guitar for his 11th birthday. Still a hardware store, but they've got some Elvis things. Got a guitar up there. Some Elvis books and keychains. Some knives. I was talking to the nice man over here who runs the place, and he said all the tables and these little drawers for the screws are all original antiques from the store. Here is Johnny's Barbecue Drive-In. Looks like it's closed though. This is Johnny's Barbecue Drive-In. It's closed right now, but they've got sandwiches and pimento cheese, fried ham, bologna sandwiches. They are even famous for their dough burgers, which were made during the Depression, so they would mix flour into the beef to make it more filling. And there is a booth in here for Elvis, where he used to sit. This has been around for ages, and this is where Elvis would come after school to get a burger and a soda, an afternoon snack. Quite nostalgic. All right, we're gonna head back to Tennessee right now. Hope you liked what you saw in Mississippi, here in Tupelo. We'll see you back. We're back in Tennessee. We are back in Memphis and we're here at the famous Beale Street. It's a strip just like Broadway Street in Nashville, but this is a strip of blues bars, the home of blues. You can listen to some awesome music here. And we're here to try a famous place called Dyer's Burgers. They claim that they fry their hamburger patties in oil since they started, which was more than 120 years ago. So I want to know what this whole thing is about and see what the hype's about. the menu 
and it's pretty simple. I think I'm gonna get a single with cheese and a IBC root beer. So here's my single with cheese. It's got a patty with cheese, onions, ketchup, pickles, and mustard. And it looks like they make their own fries. The burger's pretty juicy and it has that old school flavor. But the fries are kind of soggy and you can tell it's homemade and I give them that. At least they tried, but it's not my thing. I wouldn't say this is anything special to go out of your way for. It just tasted like a good old-fashioned burger. So that was our full busy day. We'll see you on our next video, which will be the last Tennessee video.